You already know what it is. You are now tuning in to Damage Goods. Hey, make sure you type that follow. Oh, yeah, yeah, make sure you subscribe, like, share. We're gonna get getting bigger and bigger. Damage Goods, but you know I still got the value. Did it by myself, I made my name without you. Yeah, I got a game all locked down, ayy. See me when I'm chilling at the top now, ayy. I'ma tell my story. Uh. I'm gonna fucking wash out, man. I know matter, I'm telling the truth. Been through the worst, I got nothing to lose. Wait. Talking to me, better watch what you say. I am the one who don't play with no games. Velocity, property of my own shame. Militant minded and sick in the brain. Told it right now, I don't need to explain. Mark you on fire, now you know my name. Hey, 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 yo, hey. Damage goods, damage goods. Okay, wait, okay, wait. Damage goods, damage goods. Okay, wait, okay. Damn it's good, but you know I still got the value Did it by myself, I made my name without you And I got the game on lockdown, uh, see me chillin' at the fuckin' talk now uh, I'ma tell my story, I don't give a fuck, you can watch now Damn it's good, but you know I still got the value Did it by myself, I made my name without you uh, And I got the game on lockdown, uh, see me when I'm chillin' at the top now uh, I'ma tell my story I don't give a fuck, you can watch that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hey. Gang, yo. You already know what the fuck going on. Uh, damaged goods. Uh, 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 damaged goods with no motherfucking regrets. what up how y'all doing tonight so it's a little bit different up in here this lovely evening hopefully everyone's doing fantabulous let's see how's it rolling who we got cash gurnan is in the house everybody this one right here, I had a lovely little chat with yesterday, and, well, we came up with some pretty damn interesting uh, conversation pieces that we are going to touch on tonight. It's something very important and very special um, because it really means something. Everyone talks about wanting to make a difference. Here's your chance. Get off your fucking couch, get your asses in your cars, and get busy. Show up. Talk about it. Tell people about it because it's the only way we're going to get help on this. Checking is in the house. Hello, lovely darling. How are you? Sally, hey, hey. There's my dolly bear. James, hey, how are you? Getting involved, that is right. So, the name of this live here is Protect Our Children. And that's exactly, uh, exactly what it means. Um, protect our children. How many times have we discussed different things? Hey, rapper, how are you? Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, how important is it to you guys? You know, the kids, your kids, other people's kids. I mean, okay, they can be a pain in the ass, right? We all, we all have kids. We all know how many times we're just like, eh! but. At the end of the day, we absolutely adore and love our fantabulous children, and we would do anything to keep them safe, including our friends' children safe, including the neighborhood kids safe. I mean, I remember growing up, I would be going wherever the hell it was I was going with my friends, and, you know, my parents would get a call in, you know, hey, kids are here, kids are there. That's just kind of what they did. They played telephone. And, hey, William, how are you? It was one of those things that, you know, it was kind of like a pain in the neck because we're like, gee whiz, you know, like, can I ever get like five seconds of privacy? You no, know, damn it, you're a kid. And thank God they did because, you know, what would it have been like growing up if it wasn't for the fact that we had parents looking out for us? Unfortunately, today, uh, it's not the same. Everybody's all about this, like, mind your business crap. It's not my life. It's not my family. It's not my business. No, it is. 
your business. I would never forget about you, William Darlin. I've just been up to my eyeballs and work, 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 and more work. I am happy you're doing good, rapper. I'm happy you're here. I love seeing all these fantastic names in my group tonight, my little YouTube family. It's not a large one, but I love it so much. And you know what? It doesn't ever have to grow because the people that I have that I'm surrounded with here on YouTube are just so amazing. I'm so incredibly blessed to have you guys. So thank you so, so much for being here and standing by me all this time because everybody knows I am an asshole. <laughs> I'm not easy to like, but I'm here. Cool gamer. <clears throat> 89 there. It's about 90 here. Anyway, so back to it. Dolly, thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. That's so, so special and awesome that you joined my little family. Um, so there is a rally that's going to happen November 4th at all the state's capitals. They are having a rally. It is called protect our children. It is a come one, come all. Everybody is invited. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Um, and the reason that everyone is invited is because this is one of those causes that you just shouldn't miss. And that is so important for everybody to hear about and learn about and talk about. And if you can't be there, spreading the word about it is, is something that you absolutely should do. I mean, like, if you, if you can't be there in person to be supportive, it doesn't hurt. And, you know, it's not hard for you to sit there and just tell people, hey, this is what's happening. 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 I mean, you could do that all day long. I just did it like 10 times. So November 4th, state capitals. I have my, my notes. Sorry. Um, it is focusing on all of the important matters. <laughs> it is uh, all the important matters that have to do with children. And I'm telling you right now, there are so many things going on. Hey, Fat. Hey, Misha, how are you? Uh, think about it. How much power are they trying to take away from us in general? And then you want to look at what they do um, when it comes to the children. I mean, damn. At one point, uh, I remember being pissed as an old red hen man. They sat there and said it did not matter if the parents did not want their kids to have the COVID shot because in the school, they now had the right to sit there and administer that vaccine if the kids went in there and said, hey, I want it. Uh, you know what? I'm happy that you think that you're doing something good, but you're not. It's not anyone's business to tell my child that they can confidentially have any vaccine or anything done to them at all. Misha, um, it's my decision. It's my child. And I have a right to say, yeah, they can have the vaccine or no, they cannot. And you don't have a right to take my parental rights away from me at all, period. It's my say. Well, this is what we're, we're doing. <sighs> I mean, like, there's so many things that, that I, I want to cry when I think about it. I'm so, so excited and happy. Um, I was actually, you know, asked if I wanted to be a speaker at this event. And I, I'm really thinking about it. But I just, I'm always afraid. I'm gonna fumble the ball, you know? And so, I mean, I could talk a lot of shit here, but when we sit there and have to be in front of thousands upon thousands of people, I mean, okay, let's, let's, let's not kid ourselves. I'll rock the shit out of it, but I don't wanna disappoint the people that are, that are running it, but I'm thinking about it. If I can write something that I think will make everybody proud, I'm gonna do it. So this is the time, okay? So 12 o'clock my time, Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Mountain time, 11 a.m. Central time, 12 p.m. Eastern time, November 4th, 2023, all states capital buildings. I mean, that's it. Two blocks or more, I guarantee. It's going to be probably more. I hope the turnout is amazing. They are just now starting to get this together. Okay. We are um, they are building the groups right now as we go for every state and two and a half hours away from me in Orlando here in Florida is where it's going to be. So I have no excuse not to go. And you know what? At least I know by talking to you and spreading the word, I'm doing my part. God forbid something happens and I'm unable to go. 
because everybody knows between now and then everything can happen. It can go right and it can go wrong and who knows. So I'm trying, especially with my mom, I'm trying to set that date aside. And I just, I want to make sure I, I don't commit to something and then I can't follow through. So I got I have to pray really hard that everything goes good. So this is some of the topics that are going to be discussed. And this is not it. This is not all of it. There is anything, okay? Some of the topics right now at hand that we are discussing, we have CRT, okay? Sex trafficking, kidnapping, indoctrination, grooming. Um, you know, some people um, are okay with allowing um, minors to medically start the transition process if that's what they decide that they want to do. Um, other people are against it. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have no issue with the trans community whatsoever. I do think, however, that they should be adults before uh, making that decision. Shit, I had to be an adult before I got my first tattoo. <laughs> Could you imagine if I wanted to, to get a penis? Are you kidding me? I definitely, like, I don't even know what to do with a penis now, and I'm 42, almost 42. So could you imagine at 15? I was like, all right, well, now that I got it, what do I do? Just smack it around a little bit? No, it's not a joke, though. Um, everybody should be responsible and in all things when it comes to our children. So we're going to discuss, you know, what we are looking for. We need speakers. OK, because we are just now starting to get this organized. So anybody that wants to go and wants to speak, let me know. I will. Everybody. Uh, can someone drop my email and my number, please? Pretty, pretty, please. <laughs> Matt's laughing at me. He's like, damn right. You want to tell a dude with a penis. Um, contact me and I will let you know. I'll put you in, involved with the correct people to speak with for your state. I will get you the information for the groups um, that you can join and you can literally watch everything that they, you know, have happened just unfold right in front of your eyes in the group. So you are kept up to date with what's going on in your state. We need helpers. It could be something as far as like, you know, park over here, shake my hand, sign my tits. No, joking. Uh, literally. But, you know, walking around and just helping people find where they have to go. It could be something as simple as um, bringing around a clipboard for people to sign their names because they want to sit there and go up and they want to talk. They want uh, people to literally just be there. You know, if you can't talk because you say you just don't have anything to say or, or you're, you're stage fright, I mean, who knows? It's just be there. The support matters. Numbers matter. If you cannot be there, tell people something as easy as this. If you never, ever, ever do anything on YouTube, take 10 minutes and do a video or a live. And you don't ever have to do anything ever again. Talk about it. Tell your friends. Share this. If you don't like me, who cares? I don't fucking like me. My husband doesn't like me. But you know what? He's going to share this because if he doesn't, I'm going to share it for him. <laughs> but seriously, tell people all about it, the information. I'm going to repeat it multiple times before I end this live tonight. Everybody is going to have it literally like in their brain, the times and everything. Okay. So besides spreading the word and besides possibly showing up, which I really pray the numbers are just amazing. We need helpers. We need speakers. Just because I named off a couple topics, which I'm going to name off again. Are we ready? I told you. I'm going to beat it into your heads. Just because these are the topics right now on the list that they are focusing on does not mean that you do not have uh, another re a reason in your head that you are worried about the children. You know? I mean, you may not even have kids, and you still are loving and passionate towards children, okay? I mean, that's just the way it is. We have to take care of the kids because no one is going to do it for us. 
who cares about them more than we do? I mean, shit, it's not the people that are running the damn country. That's for damn sure. It's, it's not the people that are even, you know, like a lot of people that are in, in politics, they say that they care about the kids, but guess what? They don't always really care about the kids. They care about getting into office. That's why we need people like us to sit there and sit there and push it. They need people like us marching our happy, cranky, sweaty, uncomfortable asses over there and being in the audience, cheering people on. You know what? There are going to be people that are going to be uncomfortable uh, talking and telling, you know, the whole entire group that's there what they are concerned about. So being in the audience and cheering them on, do you know how much that that helps people, the support, just knowing that they have you to back them up, cheering them on and clapping as they sit there and stutter and get confused. It means more than you know. So remember, you don't have to do much. Just be there. Just share the information, spread the word. It's so easy to do, so easy. It's two and a half hours away from me, okay? so. Say it was five or six hours away, that's kind of hard because it's a far freaking drive. But guess what? It's on a Saturday. Go the night before, get a hotel room, spend the night. Okay, it's expensive. I get it. You have from now until November 4th. So start saving because by November 1st, you should have your reservations made if you can afford to do so. That way you can spend the night, be there on time, especially if it's 9 a.m. for you because. I don't know about y'all, but 9 a.m. is kind of early for people like me. I like to sleep in. But I would be awake and I would be there if it meant that I had to show up at that time to be supportive. And uh, it's just, I love you guys. I'm looking at, I, I mean, I'm literally seeing you guys and, and you're being so supportive. Who is organizing it? I am organizing Florida. No, just kidding. Could you imagine the rat race it would be if I was <laughs> I'd have a whip. Let's go. Chop, chop, mofo. Get in order. So, um, Cash Gurnan's family is um, sharing the information on their community page. So, right here. If you go to Cash Gurnan Justice Family Organizations page here on YouTube, you can see all the information in their community. Right there is a group. Um, I have group links in my chat as well, not in my chat, but in my uh, messenger. So, oh, thank you, Dolly Bear, so much that you do not have to do that. The glare, is the glare gonna organize Florida? Uh, I mean, if he's gonna organize Florida, he and I can sit there. I know, I said hi. I was just told about you fat, but I said hi already. I love you and your wifey. Make sure that uh, you give her lots of kisses for me. Tongue kisses make it extra special. Um, so yeah, I mean, if the glare wants to come out to Florida and help me organize it, we can do it together, but I'm gonna have to totally, totally really supervise very closely because I don't know about them shenanigans. And something tells me him and Matt might get along just a little bit better than they think, and then I'll be up to my eyeballs and fuckery. So yeah, let's just let's not give anybody any ideas. But if Blair would like to get involved for his state and help his community out, absolutely. Why not? I would be more than happy if he contacted me for the information to give it to him because it is that important. And anybody that wants the information at all, even if it's just to pass along, I respect that. I love that. And I'm blessed and honored to have that because you know what? We need your voice. So once again, some of the topics being spoken about as of right now are CRT, sex trafficking, kidnapping, indoctrination, grooming, minors being allowed to transition before they become adults. You and your husband have always spoke up like this. You guys are awesome. And thank you very much, Gary. That means a lot to me. I, uh, I try very hard to always be serious sometimes but no when it's something that is important it absolutely has to be held you know at the top of the list of priority i mean come on this is 
history in the making. Okay, literally. Everybody that shows up, sign your name on that paper. Don't see Glare in chat. No, he's not in chat. Somebody actually said that he was gonna um, run Florida. <laughs> so I was joking around about it. But like I said, if he was here, hey, whatever. Welcome, I'm happy to have you. Doesn't matter, love me, like me, or hate me. Who gives a shit? If we can't all get together and do things responsibly and respectfully as a group, as adults, then I don't know what to tell you guys. Then, then we're way worse off than I thought. And that's just the way it is because we have to be able to sit here and coexist and get along and do what's right for everything in this world. Right now, the children are our world. They are our future. <laughs> right now, our future isn't looking that great. And it's not because of our children. It's because of the ass that are running the things today that are going to affect our future. The one thing we can affect and the one thing we can help and the one thing we can change and, and try to worry about are the children because they have no voice. Why? Because something about the fact that they are minors to everybody else in this world makes it seem as though they don't matter. But you know what? They do. Their beliefs matter. Their wants matter. What's important to them is important to me. Listen to your kids, listen to your kids' friends when they wanna talk, if they have something to say, listen, because they're not gonna come to you forever. And if they don't know that they can come to you and trust you to take their situation seriously, I mean, it could be a catastrophic situation to them and it could be nothing to you, but you don't pay attention to them. And if you laugh at them, you're not gonna do anything but make them turn around and not come back to you. You're only pushing them away and showing them that the parents don't care. If their own parents don't care, who's, who's gonna care? What adults are they gonna have faith in? None, nobody. We cannot destroy our own children. And you know what? The government shouldn't be allowed to destroy our children for us, damn it. If I'm gonna destroy my kid, it's gonna be my idea and it's gonna be my choice, no one else's. And I am not gonna destroy my kids. I want nothing but the best for them. Hey, Zigzag, how are you? My Sayla, hey, lovey dove. Uh, so we're gonna start at the beginning. Bring it back. November 4th, states capitals. 9 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Mountain time, 11 a.m. Central time, and 12 p. Eastern time. Hello. That's where you have to be. Same day, same place in every state. Maki's in the house. What's up to the most talented dude I know? What up, brother? How you doing? Um, that is it's that simple. It's so easy, so easy to remember. So if you would like to speak at this event, let me know. I will put you in contact with the correct people. I will give you the information to the groups, to the national organization. <laughs> I'll give you whatever you need to make sure that you have the information, are fully prepared and set up and ready to rock and roll and kick some ass because we have to fight for those kids. We have to fight for the kids. Florida, that's right, it's in Orlando. What better reason to go to freaking Disney <laughs> to Orlando than this? So if you are able to come up with ideas or if one of the things that I mentioned that are on this list means something to you, just talk about it. Go and talk. If you can't talk, do a live or a video or type about it on Facebook, share a post, start a blog. I don't know, smoke signals, carrier pigeons, call somebody like back in the day. Remember, hey, ring, ring, how's it going? Yeah, do it, get involved. We all want to make a difference, right? We're going to sit here and we're going to fuss and we're going to be those fucking couch warriors. Or we can get off our couches, get dressed in like clothes, you know, that you can wear outside of the house and you can go and you can sit there and make a difference just by being in the audience. There's going to be vendors. There are going to be, um, the motivational speakers there, I'm like, I'm sure they are going to end up making me cry because the things that they are going to say, it's just, I'm very passionate about this. The kids are just everything. And that's why I don't cover kids. Uh, 
and she, I don't do true crime period, but I can't do kids. Um, because every time I think of kids or any kind of anything that happens to them, I think of my kids. Those boys mean the world to me. So I have to do this, not for my kids, but for everyone else's kids and for my kids' kids. I mean, my great-grandkids, my great-great-grandkids, if, if I'm here to be around to see them. I mean, luckily my parents are here right now to see my kids and know my kids, but we got to be there for the kids. And there's nothing else. There's no way around it. So if you can't go there and help, if you can't go there and talk, if you can't do anything is as far as that event is in person then talk about it man spread the word because that's the only way to get a great outcome like you realize everybody that attends this rally yeah okay so you're gonna be hot and sweaty okay great big deal some places you're not gonna be so hot or sweaty great big deal sign your names on that damn clipboard, man. This is going to legislation. Your name is going to be in legislation. This is literally going to be history in the making. You have a right to be there. Your kids have a right to know that their parents literally got up and went and were involved and that they tried to make a difference for not only them, but their friends. I mean... This is seriously so important. Anybody who needs to know anything, contact me. Phone or email, does not matter whatsoever. Not even a little bit saying how you contact me. But contact me because you know what? I got the information. And if you go to the Cash Gurnan Justice Family Organizations page, they have the information there in their um, community post. And you're, you're going to learn. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to see how many people are out there. And I am looking forward to being amazed by just the overwhelming amount of people. The fact that I was even given the opportunity to go up and be a speaker is absolutely amazing to me. Because, I mean, give me a mic and put in an amp. We, don't, we just never know what's going to come out of my mouth, do we? But... I was given an opportunity and you know what it's if I didn't sit here and talk about it then I'd be failing already the groups are being organized they're just getting everything set up I think Florida had like six people as of last night hopefully there's more today if not it will be soon I hope I'm going to be doing a community post here soon um, with information on how to contact me and this way I can go about the proper steps to get you connected to who you have to speak with and go from there. Yeah, it's going to be in Florida capital. All states capitals is where it's going to be. Every state's capital, November 4th, 9, 10, 11, and 12, depending on where you are on the time frame. Okay, great what you're doing. Oh, thanks, Kelsey. Does anybody have any questions at all concerning this situation? Because I think I think it's important that if there's any confusion or questions at all, that we get it taken care of, like immediately. Um, Cash Gurnan right here can give you uh, answers to questions that I don't necessarily have concerning the fact that they're the ones that invited me and they're running other states, they're running nationals, for God's sake. You have a question. Is that, da, 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 da. Our capital is Tallahassee. People are saying it's Orlando. Cash Garden. There are running politicians involved. So clarification, is it Tallahassee or is it Orlando? Because I'm fairly sure you told me it was Orlando last night. And I just want to make sure because actually now that I'm uh, reading this, she's right. The capital is in Tallahassee. Ah, there you go. So there you have it. Ah, uh, we'll see. 
I will do the best that I can, Sayla. I um, I really want to, but it's one of those things that I have to make sure that I, uh, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it and make everybody proud because I'm not doing it just for my family. I'm doing it for everybody else's family. I want to make sure that I'm going to do it in a way that the people that are unable to be there, I'm doing it for them and I'm going to make them proud. So that's the only thing that matters. You know, people are going to talk about this for the clicks and the views and the money. And I don't give a shit about the fame and the fortune and the clicks and views and money. I don't care who likes me and I don't care about who hates me. I just care about the fact that at the end of the day, I know I'm doing something worthwhile. What's going on, Shell? How are you, honey? I hope everything's going well with you and your family. Um, yeah, we have to make sure that we're a part of this. Share it. It takes five minutes to spread the information. And you know what happens? Even if you're unable to attend, you just did an amazing amount of work. And all you did was share the information. You just helped the future of our children because you shared the information. And everybody that you share it to will sit there, hopefully, and share it to somebody else. I mean, it's not hard to, to share it. Text it, send it out. I'm telling you, carrier pigeons does not matter. Look, right there, I have fat and spood. I'm never calling you by your first name again. Just, just so you know, you are from now on until the day I die. Spood, Joey and Spood. Um. So, yeah, I don't care. Do what you want. If you want to clip it. Clip it, do whatever you want to do with it, stream it, share it. I don't care. Don't care at all. This is this, it doesn't matter how you do it, what you do with it, just do it. Um, make it your own. Say like you you have you know your own channel. You talk about it. You know, your your YouTube family that you have right there that love you so much, right? They're gonna listen to you and they're gonna hear you out. And I will tell you exactly. Uh, what you need to know, all the male skunks everywhere are proud. <laughs> I'm going to make all the skunks proud. Uh, as long as you don't spray me again, ever, ever again, okay? It took like a week to get that smell off skunk. Like seriously, no more, none of that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, it's, I'm up for just about anything, but no more of that spraying shit. You shared it to Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. See, this is it. Do you know how many people we have on Facebook? I couldn't even tell you because um, I don't have a personal Facebook. I have a YouTube Facebook and I don't even know half the people that are on it, but hopefully they're watching this right now and they share it. And it's that easy. You're gonna fire, here we go, I have another one, another live. Spood, you can do a video also or a live. Um, so, yeah, make a difference, guys. That's all you have to do is make a difference. Do you have any idea about all the different concerns that you might have um, about situations going on in your children's lives, about things in school, um, about social, you know, media, uh, going out with their friends, uh, just anything. Like, what are your concerns? Literally, what are your concerns? Because if it's a concern, it's valid and it needs to be spoken about. It needs to be heard. You have a right to express your feelings, your thoughts and concerns, and we have a right to hear it because we need to learn from each other. The only way to learn from each other is to talk about it. We're going to, I don't wanna like bore you guys to death because I'm a boring person to begin with, but literally I'm gonna maybe talk about it. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, two more times before the month's over every month until we get there, maybe two, three times a month, who knows? You know, we gotta remind people here we go, bikers, truckers. Spread the word. 
do you have any idea how many fundraisers, how many runs bikers do? I mean, the biker community is huge and do so much for the children. Chuckers as well. Yeah, Sayla, absolutely. 100%. Whisper wants to say hi to the people. Whisper wants to say hi to the people. Whisper, come on over and say hello, girl. Um, come on, come on. Let me go outside. So, Whisps. you know what? Here, let me, um, I'm going to share the link. All right, I'm going to be mod in the backyard. I'm going to work out, but I'll be, I'll be, I'll be still mod and, right, and chat with the peeps. What up, everybody? What up? Get my so on. right here, this is the group Wait, say hello. Say hello. for national, the national group, because I said all the states groups are not built up yet. So we're cash, cash in the world. So if you go on there, thank you, darling. You can literally see everything right. as it's going on. Like I said, you ready, you ready? just you ready? Look, <laughs> look it up. You may end up finding that you're going to actually become more interested the more you learn and read and see as it develops and the time goes on. I mean, and, and think about it, okay? Bring your kids. They're going to have fun. There will be vendors. This is not one of those, hey, we're going to all get rich quick schemes, you know? It's not one of those things. It's we're going to go and we're going to hang out and we're going to support each other and we're going to talk about it and we're going to sign paperwork because we want to push this in to legislation and we want to make changes we want bills signed behind it we want to make a difference and i want to know in the future my children have a fighting chance i want to know in the future your children have a fighting chance i don't even care if your children are adults my oldest child is legally an adult in my eyes he's still a child but I mean, he's an adult. But I want to know that it's going to be easier for him and his kids one day that, that they are protected. That's all that matters. My youngest, he still has school left in his life. I want to know that the schools are going to be run properly, not like they are nowadays. They are not being ran the right way. I want to know that when something happens to a child, that it's going to be taken care of immediately. It's not going to be on the kitchen table. One of those things that you have to be missing for what, three days or 24 to 48 hours before we can sit there and, and you know, file a missing ch children's report. No, I want that shit done now. I want changes made now. I want to know my kid never has to worry or be in fear that he's going to be anything terrible for a certain amount of hours before the police are willing to sit there and do something about it. We are going to fight for the children. We are going to protect the children. I mean, CPS, really. They do some good. They do. But I don't care who gets mad at me. You know what? What do they do with kids? They move them along. If they move a child along, do you really think that all of the CPS workers are good? Just like you got dirty cops, just like you have dirty freaking everything in this world, you also have dirty CPS workers. I'm not afraid to say I don't care who gets mad at me. CPS is involved in child trafficking. Guess what? You can't stop it unless you fight it. You can't fight it if you don't show up and make a difference and express your concerns. So do it. And if you can't, maybe you can sit there and uh, pass along your concerns a different way. And we don't know unless we try. We don't figure these things out and get the answers unless we ask the questions, unless we are there, unless we sit there and show concern and love. And if you're not going to be able to be there, the best way to show your concern and your love is to spread the news, share the message. Because just because you can't make it does not mean someone you know won't be able to make it. You might say, hey, you know what? I have 10 people I'm going to tell and maybe two or three of them are going to go. That's pretty damn good odds compared to the fact that you may not ever tell anybody. And if you tell no one, then there's not a chance in hell that anybody you know is going to end up going. Really, Matthew? Thank you. Tell Whisper I'm proud. 
So talk about it. Cry about it. Show your compassion. Show the fact that you want to be better, that you want the government and the political people to be better, your teachers to be better. You want to know that the world for the children is going to be better. Make a change. Stand up. Stand for something. Literally, stand for something. I don't care if you are afraid to go up on stage and talk. I do care if you sit there and do nothing. I do care if you click your way on out of here because this doesn't interest you and you do nothing and don't talk about it and don't even try to help. You know why? Because you are a worthless fucking human if that's what you're going to do in my eyes. And I'm not afraid to tell you that. You know why? Because I'm an asshole and I never lied about that. Now, have I? I do not respect anybody who is not going to even tell one person about this. You don't have to be interested in going. You don't have to be interested in talking. You don't have to be interested in helping. You do have to fucking have some accountability and be responsible enough to share the fact that there is a rally going on. And the only focus of that rally is to protect our children. And if you can't do that, you are just as bad as the people that are hurting our kids in this world. And that's what I think. And I don't care how you feel about it. Talk the talk, walk the walk. I talk too much shit to not know what I'm talking about. And I mean what I say and I say what I mean. And you know what? If this is the only thing I can do is talk about it on the, on lives a couple times a month, then that's all I'm going to do. Because you know what? It's better than doing nothing. Sit there and tell someone. Help the children. You know as well as I do. And a lot of y'all... Not necessarily y'all, but the y'alls that are coming to watch the replay, there's going to be people that are snowflakes and they don't have the balls to say the things that concern them. So they're going to sit back with their thumb in their ass and they are going to do nothing in fear of judgment. Well, fuck your judgment and fuck you. Your kids, your kids' friends, my kids, Every child in this world, not even just this country, this entire world, every child matters. And those kids matter more than me and they matter more than you. So fucking do something. Make the kids proud. Don't care about me. Don't make me proud. Make your kids proud. Make every child proud and talk about it. Okay? It's all you have to do. November. I got the time. I'm not good with that yet. I should have memorized it, but I didn't. My bad. 9 a.m. Pacific time. 10 a.m. Mountain time. 11 a.m. Central time. 12 p.m. Eastern time. Those are your times at all states' capitals on November 4th. The Protect the Children rally. It is not just for patriots. It is not just for Republicans or Democrats or this or that. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you like, what your religion is, what your political views are. I don't care about your sexual orientation. I don't care about any of that. It means nothing to me. We are stronger together. That's the truth. If we cannot unite and do something together for once in our lives to make something better, for our children, then what in the hell are we here for? What are we here for? Because you know what? If we can't do anything at all to make to make anything better for these kids, then we're worthless. We're worthless. Mommy should have swallowed. Pretty much. Just fucking walking around, dried up sperm. That's all we are. If you can't sit there and do anything to make a difference for these kids. Protect them. That's what you're there for. That's what you have to be there for. That's the reason we are adults, is to protect our children. That's it, literally. 
be a part of history. Go, bring your kids, let them see the support, but watch them closely because not everybody that's going to be there is gonna be there for the right reason. Just because people attend does not mean that they are all great people. So if you're gonna bring your children, keep your eye on them. You have to, you can't trust anybody nowadays. You have to, but I'm not saying don't bring them because I think that they should be involved. They should see Matthew. They should see the amazing amounts of numbers that are gonna be there to stand up for them and fight for them and help them. They should. They should be there to see you if you're gonna speak. Do you know how proud your kid's gonna be? And a little embarrassed, but mostly proud, huh? Like, could you imagine? That's my parents up there on, on that podium talking. They're fighting for me. I matter. My friends matter. Yeah. They are gonna be proud. So you know what? Make them proud. Make a difference. Help be a part of a change. Help make the change. Help the legislation. Help history. Help the future. Make it a better place for them, man. Because it's not going to be good if we don't do this. If we don't try to fight and make it a better place for them, just picture how bad it's going to be by the time that they are adults. I mean, my, my child is an older teen. But you know what? By the time he's 20 years old, 18 years old, I have no idea how much worse things are going to be than they are now. I mean, it's scary. It's a scary thought. I mean, I remember being a child and I didn't have to like really worry. And I did have to worry because, you know, it wasn't as safe as it was when my kids were, my parents were kids. But I didn't know that I had to worry and I had to be afraid and concerned because I had parents that were involved in all of our lives. You know, we were lucky back in the day because it's not the same. We used to run around and play manhunt in the woods, <clears throat> Matthew. We used to just go from house to house to house. I mean, shoot, there were freaking parents, like adults who had houses on the way from one house to another that would be like, hey, y'all want something to drink? Iced tea, lemonade, cookies? I mean, they didn't care. And then as soon as they, you know, made sure we were all rounded up, took count of all the kids, phone calls started getting made. We had no idea they were looking out for us. At the same time as they were showing us kindness by giving us, you know, a drink and a cookie and sending us on our way, they were telling everybody where we were. You know, I mean, who the hell even knew that was possible back when we were kids, right? I didn't know that they were doing that. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't even know they cared. Today, who goes outside? How many kids do you see outside playing? It's almost a good thing, I think, now that we don't have as many kids outside playing, not the way we did when we were kids, because you know what? Nobody cares. But I know one thing's for sure. In my neighborhood, they're going to let everybody know if something happens. If anybody on this block sees something happen with any of our children, they're going to do something. They're not going to turn their head and say, it's not my problem. Not at all. I'm not going to turn my head and say, it's not my problem. I'm not one of those people. I am not one of those people that don't care about anyone but myself. And there are too many of those people now in this world. So here's our chance to step up, to get involved, leave the house, join, show support, make signs with glitter and puffy paint and let your kids hold them. I mean, why not? Why not do something? Make it fun. Make a craft with them. Give them streamers. Uh, those little poppy things with confetti. I mean, be responsible and bring a bag and clean up your mess, please, because I always do. But at the same, <laughs> at the same time, 
bring them and make a mess and have fun and make memories and take pictures, damn it. Pictures and videos, but you know what? Don't stay on your phone. Don't be there and be present, but be fucking Facebook, FaceTiming, Snapchatting, whatever the fuck it is everybody does on the, their phones. No, do the things that are important. Share that you are here at this event and tell everybody about it. Take a video, post it on the internet so people can see, yeah, it happened and yeah, it meant something and yeah, they're making moves and doing big things and talking about real things that matter, discussing things that have to be fixed, have to be spoken about, have to be changed, have to be acknowledged. Yeah, do it. Do you understand that there, I mean, just think about it. There are so many things that we can accomplish just by showing up, just by spreading the word. I mean, literally. Sh share the information, man. Send me a text or an email. I'll type it all out and send it to you. Copy and paste that. Forward it to everybody. You know what? You just did something that has the potential to make an amazing difference. You did. So it's time for us to stand up and do something right for once. Don't think about YouTube drama. Don't think about the bullshit and how we can cause more aggravation and harm and hurting each other and talking about each other. Don't focus on Matt in a fucking coconut bra with a, bra a blonde wig on his head. Don't worry about any of that because none of that at the end of the day matters. This is the time for us to all remember what is important in the world. And that is our children. That's why we had children. And that is why we need to do something. And this is the one thing, if you never do anything that's important again, this is one thing that you need to do. So I'm going to drop my information again because anybody who would like information, please contact me and I will give you links to every group. I will forward your information to the people that are in charge of these groups. I will steer you in the right direction and give you all the tools you need. We need speakers. So if you think you got it, if you wanna talk, please. There's nothing you can say that's not gonna make a difference. There's nothing you can say that's not gonna matter. If it has to do with something that involves our children and making changes to make sure that it's better for our children, then there's no way you can lose. There's no way you can screw up. There's nothing you can do wrong as long as you have the right intentions and you're focusing on the children. And that's all we have to do. So don't forget, we're gonna spread the information. Anybody who wants it, I'm gonna put it on my community page, Cash Kern and Justice Family, they have it on their page. We need speakers. We need helpers. Every name that signs that paper, every person that's there, every body that is there, it counts. It matters. It's going towards making a change, making a difference, and making the world a better place for our kids. I don't think anybody needs New over Times again, do they? <gasps> November 4th, though, all states capital. You can't forget it's that easy. It does not matter what state you are, you're in. If you just remember November 4th, guess what? You're winning. You're not going to forget. If you need to remember the times, I got you. If you need to know what we're talking about or focusing on, I got you. You want to be involved? I got you. You need help getting in touch with somebody who's going to you know, handle your state? I got you. But I can't help you if you don't say something. And you can't help everybody else, including me, and including every child that walks the face of this earth, 
if you don't say something, if you don't ask about it, and if you don't do anything. So that's it. I'm going to bore you to death one more time with a quick rundown, and we're getting the fuck out of here. November 4th, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Mountain time, 11 a.m. Central time, 12 p.m. Eastern time, all states, capital buildings. That's it. We need speakers. We need helpers. We need people that are willing to spread the word. We need people that are willing to attend. That's it. We need people that are willing to stream it live when they go. We need people that are willing to, if they can't do it live, record it and share it. Share, 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 share. Thank you, Lori. That's all you have to do. It's that easy. That easy. Those topics, once again, that we have on the list, but are not limited to CRT, sex trafficking, kidnapping, minors transitioning before they are adults, kidnapping, indoctrination, grooming. Please, please remember, do not forget. You don't have to be there to make a difference. You just have to tell people. That's it. So, I love you guys. Okay, well, okay. Thank you very much okay, for being here with me down. tonight. And anybody in Florida, I hope to see you there. I hope to find out that the numbers are booming in every state across this country. Hey, Pete. How are you? And I hope that at the end of the day, we make it work. Because guess what? If we get it to actually pass and we make a difference, the kids have a fighting chance. They do. And all you have to do is go. That's it. If you can't go, you just have to spread the information. Feel the love. Share the love. Take care of those damn children, man. Because you know what? If we don't do it, no one's going to. And it's not looking good. It's not looking good. So, yeah. Now, thank you guys for caring and being here with me. Because you know what? I am, I am just like, I don't know, I'm, I, I worry more than I need to on a daily basis about everything that goes on in this world. And I make myself freaking crazy. But at the end of the day, I know that my heart's in the right place and I'm going to do everything I can. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. I mean, it is just that easy. So everybody, I am signing off. I love you all so much. If you can't be there, talk about it. If you can be there, but you can't talk about it, cheer and support those that can. Make a difference, man. Contact me. I'm here. I'm always around. Guys, can you please drop my number and my email one more time before I throw us up out of here? And uh, you know what? At the end of the day, what you really have to do, honestly, before you go to bed or even throughout the week, just sit there and think about one thing. What can you do to help this cause? Honestly, is there an idea that you might want to be able to talk about? Is there an idea that you want to pass along to me so I could pass it along the line that we can talk about? Because you know what? It, it's not hard. You send me a text or an email copy and paste it and send it to the person that it needs to go to, right? And then get you the information back. I'll even go and do another live or a video and talk about the answers to any questions and concerns. Um, because why not? Because if you have a question, you deserve an answer. And I would be more than happy to sit there and do it for you by helping you get your messages back and forth. So if we could, I am going to um, drop my ugly face off here, close out with a song, and I am going to be seeing you guys again soon because this is something that we're just going to have to beat into everyone's heads until we have nothing left to talk about because you know what? The only thing that matters in this world is those kids. 
thank you all so much for being here. Cash Gurn, thank you for inviting me in, in this. It's just, I'm blessed and honored that out of everybody you decided, you know, to contact me because this is something that is, it's just so important. And I'm so passionate about on a daily basis. I just can't even tell you. So thank you. I absolutely adore and love you. This is amazing. This organization does so much for so many people. You have no idea the amount of things that the person behind that name right there does on a daily basis, how that person even functions as a human being outside of taking care of everybody else in this world is beyond me. But you know what they do? They do. And on top of taking care of themselves and the things that they need they take care of us. So, you know what guys, I love you. Thank you so much for being here guys. Please, please, please drop my info. And we are out of here. I love you guys so much. I need to know which way that I'm headed. I need to know which way should I go. I need to know if my struggle was worth it. I need to know, I need to know, I need to know that I'm gonna make it. I need to know, cause I'm getting too old. I need to know that my time wasn't wasted. I need to know, I need to know. I need to know that my lyrics are really worse than I speak. I need to know that there's no more, just more than paper and ink. I need to know that I should not just surrender the beat. Cause my back's against the ropes and I won't hell in the feet. My life was so, so sweet, but now it's rotten and bruised. I need to know the repercussions from the drugs that I use. Now I'll face the repercussions from the life that I choose. Peace, God, and I'm better. I don't live permanently broke. I need to know if I can win or if I'm destined to lose. But you can lace up in my kicks and walk a mile in my shoes. I need to know if you can take it in the pen and the nose. Cause I've carried all my burdens, I got nothing to lose. I need to know if this rap game is truly more than a dream. I need to know should I pursue it or just let it just be. Cause I know that I got passion and I truly believe that this fire crack the movement it is destined to be. I, I need to know which way to be. I'm headed. I need to know which way should I go. I need to know if my struggle was worth it. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know that I'm gonna make it. I need to know because I'm getting too old. I need to know that my time is wasted. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know which way to turn this for now. I don't preach for my soul. I'm on my plane, it's so big, all this. I just like my bones. Oh, no, no praise and purpose in the cups from the lost and deserted. So hard to word away, words, words. It's a cold ass world, I'm standing sure. Is it really worth it when you fail so many times? If I die, well, then my car ride on my tombstone, I try. Self inflicted struggle, love is called a good struggle. And it's hard to see the picture missing pieces to the puzzle. I need to know, will I figure it out? Put all the loose on my people, if you're worried if that double look the other way till I figure out this maze and I close the last chapter, my people just hold the weight now. Hold up, wait, don't turn a page, last paragraph, I gotta put the weight, reiterate, I can't escape, go back and race, it's twist the fate, it's what it is, I can't forget, just change how my skin begins. Who wants to know how to struggle this? I'm sending you my condolences. I need to know which way that I'm headed, I need to I need to know which way should I go. I need to know if my struggle is worth it. I need to know, I need to know, I need to know that I'm gonna make it. I need to know because I'm getting too old. I need to know that my time is wasted. I need to know, I need to know. <sighs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>